Hey guys, welcome back to Media Block, and I'm back with you guys for another video. And today I have something amazing. Finally, guys, we all know it. Linux has dropped for Android. Now, although this is not like the complete emulated version of Linux on Android, it does work significantly well without any bugs. Now, this is recommended for you to do on a tablet but it will work on an Android phone as well. But And you do not need any other accessory like a mouse or any other thing like that. All you need is your tablet and an internet connection. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the Google Play Store. Now, it might seem unbelievable, but yes, you can download it straight from the Google Play Store and you do not require any root. So go ahead and search in the Google Play Store, Debian. So I did spell it wrong there, but okay. Um, so I've already installed it, but this is the app you're looking for, Debian No Root. So al although it's such a great thing that uh, the developer has done to uh, port over uh, Linux to Android, uh, it still has only 100,000 downloads, which is actually unbelievable. So go ahead and support them. Make sure you leave a five-star uh, rating, as I'm going to do now. So yeah, go ahead and install this. I have already installed it, so once you install it, make sure you open it. So I'm opening it, and when you open it, you're going to find this. So when you when you find this, it's going to start saying it's going to say that it's downloading some files so as you, as you can see guys the desktop has been loaded it took a lot of time it took like five minutes so at first you will not see any on any anything on your screen you will only see like uh, the cursor and and from there it takes time to uh, load so don't do anything just keep it at a size and at the side and let it to load so we are here and this is beautiful guys just look at it it's it's an actual operating system on your device it has the terminal emulator the file manager the mail reader the web browser it has settings all these awesome things that this is awesome man all right so i think we should go to the file system first so let's open this up So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Running Linux on Android has been a dream. Although Android is based off Linux, we never got to see the actual terminal system. But now we have a chance to and you can go ahead and play with it uh, as long as you'd like. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, just note that it's better on tablets. So it, it's, I recommend you to install on tablets. It's about a GB. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure if this video helped you then make sure you leave a like because it helps me a lot and motivates me to make more videos but for now guys thanks for watching and yeah peace out